Um, then you come to the unattended page. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put in my CD key so I don't have to enter this during setup. Put it in there. There's a lot of other options you can mess with, but you know I leave a lot of things as the default, and it works out pretty well. Um, so we'll go to users, and I'll change the administrator account. I'll just put my name in there. I'll put Brendan. I'll put my full name. Uh, I'll change. I don't like having a click to log in. I'm like, I like it to auto log in. So I'll put that account as auto log in. And I don't like having a password. So I'll just take off the must have password. Owner and network ID. Put in the computer name. Just put Brendan PC. Put the default work group. Uh, put in my full name again and my organization, I'll just put FSU. So then you'll go to the regional settings where you can configure uh, the default language, keyboard setup, uh, time zone. All I'm gonna mess with here is I'm just gonna change the time zone to Eastern time so I don't have to do this during the setup. Scroll down, click Eastern. I'm not going to mess with any components. I'll leave the display settings, the default. Then uh, updates. This is I'll change this to download and install automatically the newest updates. Then uh, you can even slipstream any desktop themes and you can configure the network settings. But I'll just leave all that as the default. Let's go ahead and click next. And you're going to come to the tweaks page. Now, there's a lot of things you can do. I'm just going to show you three, you know, minor things that, you know, you may prefer. So I'm going to click on desktop. Click the My Computer icon. I'm going to click Show because I like having the My Computer icon on the desktop. And the next thing I'm going to do is click on Internet Explorer. I'm going to set the home page as Google. So right off the bat, you don't have to worry about setting your home page. I like having my home page as Google. So that's set. Then I'm going to go to the taskbar. I'm going to disable the language bar because I hate having that down there. So those are just three things you can do. There's, as you can see, a lot of other things. You can go ahead and just mess around with maybe how you like it. And then uh, go ahead and click next when you're done. So this is going to come. It's going to say, would you like to start the process? And you're going to click yes. This process can take a while, maybe about an hour, hour and a half. When you're done, it'll tell you how big the image file is. I'll say congratulations, you're finished. And you click finish. The next thing we're going to want to do is open up Win Setup from USB. You have your uh, USB drive inserted. You're going to want to open this. Click HP Format Tool. Select that drive. Click Click Quick Format. Hit Start. It's going to tell you you know everything's going to be a race. You click OK. Take a few seconds. Tell you it's done. So you click OK and close the format tool. Next thing you're gonna want to do is at the top browse to the, the Windows folder. Well that's right on the desktop. So we're gonna browse to that, select the folder, click OK, and then you're ready to go. All you have to do is click go and it'll start transferring it to the USB drive. Now this can take another hour or so. But once it's done, it'll pop up saying, you know, there's two parts to the installation that you'll have to run from the USB drive. I'll explain that in a minute. But other than that, you're ready to go and you're ready to install Windows. So you can exit that. Now I'll show you on my computer now. I can't run through the setup because I would format my computer. But at the boot, we'll say for instance at the boot screen, I can't boot from a USB drive. So I've inserted the boot manager CD and I'll boot from the CD um, if you are able to boot from straight from the USB you can go ahead and do so you don't have to use the boot manager to boot to the CD and then this is what the boot manager will look like it gives you a few options of what device you want to boot to we're gonna choose USB 
since we've inserted the USB drive, we're going to boot from that. If you can't see it. <laughs> so I'm going to hit enter, and it's going to search for USB drive. All right, this is what the screen will look like when you first op get into the USB drive. You want to pick the first part. There's two parts. The first time, you'll pick the first part. Then after Windows reboots during the install, you'll pick the second part the second time. And after that, you can remove the USB drive and Windows will be fully installed. As you can see, the setup loads much faster from the USB drive. And then you're ready to install Windows. Alright again, my name is Brendan Robinson. You can visit my website at brendanprobinson.com. Thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me or contact me at my website. Thanks again.